Good afternoon and welcome to my daily chat, episode 754. And different venue, in case you're wondering why I'm not in my normal spot, I'm actually out with a friend and thought I'd pull over and do a quick talk. This is the topic today is if they disrespect you, why do you stay? And what choices do you have? So this is going to be a little bit of a, it could be a painful experience, what I'm talking about. So hopefully you'll listen through it to get the value of it, because I want to speak to that. I feel a bit weird looking down at my phone, usually better up higher, but the table height isn't high enough today. So first of all, thanks for joining me. Um, before I get into the topic, let me introduce myself and explain why this is about. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author of a book called 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, because I speak about love and relationships. I am a love, love and relationship attraction expert. I'm also a best-selling, and I've said best-selling, well, I've said that already. <laughs> I'm an inspirational speaker when I remember. I'm also um, a passionate champion for the divine feminine, which informs my work and inspires my work and why I help women create balance in love, life, and business. And also why I do these talks every day. This is um, over two, almost two and a half years worth of talks called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. And so today's topic is about um, putting up with crap. And if you do that, what to do differently and why you can perhaps make better choices. Um, and I might be dropping some truth bombs along the way because it's kind of the way I feel right now. So if you haven't seen my talks, make sure I'm plugged in properly. Yes, okay. I've got, I've got a jury rig system here to get my phone set up because I don't have my tripod with me because I'm not at home at my usual venue. So this hopefully works. So if you can hear me, make sure you do put comment, something in the comments so I know that you can hear me. That'd be good. Um, because if you can't hear me, you want to do that. <laughs> All right, so this conversation came up because of some conversations with friends, or this topic came up conversation with friends where I've, I've heard of people, particularly women, putting up with relationships with men where they weren't being honored, respected, and, and appreciated, and they didn't leave. But it's true on both sides. So I call it they versus he or she because I want to keep it gender neutral because some people have more... Um, Let's say it's more inclusive. It's not just, it's mostly women, but not always men. Yes, was Marguerite nicely put. So yeah, dis dis disrespect once and you're gone. By the way, this is my Facebook Live, which is why I'm talking to somebody you can't see if you're watching it somewhere else. Um, I'll say about the links when you find me the replays after I'm finished. So yes, that's true, Marguerite. However, there are people I know, unfortunately, and some clients I've worked with who don't do that again, but how there's a sense of commitment that puts them in a place where their agreement that they think they've made with their partner means that they've put up with all sorts of crap being thrown their way. And the challenge with that is that they don't know what the boundaries. The, th the thing about this is it starts off all very nice, but as time goes by in long -term, longer term relationships, the other partner becomes less and less um, compassionate, caring, respectful, appreciative, honoring, etc. And the, for, the first partner is basically getting less and less respected and more and more abused. And as you said, Marguerite, you know, dis disrespect once and you're gone. Easier said than done because some people are very invested in the relationship once it happens. They're so caught up in that paradigm of wanting to make it work or feeling like they need to honor the commitment they have that they don't know if it's actually okay to pull the strings and leave or pull the, ta pull the whatever it is and leave, the, rip the ripboard maybe. So, what I'm attempting to say here, and, I'm, and I'm, 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 I'm trying to get straight to the point, which is really the simplest thing is, is that any relationship you're in, not just romantic, any relationship you're in, I don't say must have, but it feels like I should say that, must have, I'm saying there's no way of putting it. Okay, let me try it this way. Any relationship you're in would ideally, do, ideally be healthy. And if it's healthy, then it includes certain things, which includes respect, appreciation, um, honoring, deference, understanding, acceptance, etc., like that. If you're in a relationship where the person who is opposite you, again, any sort of relationship, where they're demeaning, disrespecting, um, argumentative, perhaps um, denigrating, and putting you down, etc., 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 as I said, all these different words, you may or may not be able to reason with them. Because yes, there's a desire sometimes in a long-term relationship to stick it out. But again, if you don't know your boundaries, what, how much are you gonna put up with? 
if your partner's going through lots of hell and crazy, crazy stuff and everything else, that's one thing. But even so, you can still educate them, inform them, inspire them, ask them to, no matter what you, they're going through, at least respect you, give you space, take it out something else, go see a therapist, something like that. But the truth is, some people get into relationships where they don't realize that the person they're dating or being in a relationship with, romantically speaking, never had a sense of how to respect somebody. They just did it as a front when they first got together. And a few um, months, years, weeks is that relationship. Sorry, I'm hoping you hear me okay. I'm a lot of traffic going by, so I want to make sure you can hear me okay. Um, a lot of experience, I'm um, sorry, let me back up a second. So a lot of people I know have been in relationships with partners who were nice up front, but it dissipated, it, it blew up, it, it, it went away very early on. And the relationship de um, diminished, decreased, no, that's the wrong word, um, disintegrated into abuse, into hurt feelings, into hurtful experiences. and. What I'm aware of is that so many people don't realize when that symptom happens, act on that first symptom, that signal, that sign, that indicator, to at least remove yourself enough to get some clarity in conversation. If somebody treats you badly, especially the, th and this is the thing, in, in um, narcissistic relationships this happens, especially where a partner will be all nice, all nice up front, but then slowly but surely start to abuse you and you will not want to leave because you feel like they might change or that somehow it's your fault because they convinced you of that, both of which are insane. Making your self-support, your self-care, your self-appreciation a priority in or out of relationship is my reminder to you. It's actually what I talk about more in my work more than ever. It's finding the ways to love and support yourself, to honor and respect who you are, always putting yourself first. So. This is an encouragement if you're in that situation to get out, to honor yourself first, respect yourself. If you're in a relationship where it's more invested than just um, the first level, like it's much deeper than that, remove yourself, get out first, see if some distance, and then you can communicate with your partner and find out what's going on. Perhaps they are in a situation where they've gone down a path they didn't realize they were getting into, and they don't know how to get out, and they feel trapped, and then maybe they're reacting at you and lashing out without understanding. Then maybe you can get them some counseling, but not when you're in the middle of it. And let me be clear, your amazing amount of love that you have may not be able to help them. It may not be able to transform them. It may not be able to shift their mi mindset, their modality to be nice to you. It may simply be that you need to leave completely, period, cut off all ties and be safe to take care of yourself. Again, this is not just romantic relationships, this is any relationship. And if you're finding yourself in a place where you are spending more time defending yourself or defending them, even worse, or making what they did okay, you're going about it the wrong way. Your self-care comes first, as I said before, more and more times. It's why I'm talking this more and more because it's becoming more central to my work and in my calling and in my talking, in my talks. My um, passion is to remind, inspire, and evoke in you a reminder to take care of yourself. My newest course that I've been talking about for a while, called "Coming Home to Yourself," is. That, that, that piece is basically self-mastery for yourself. I'll put a link in the comments so you can find it when you, when you finish watching this. But my point about it is, is that most people don't have the tools, the skills, the intention to know how to take care of themselves so they don't remove themselves in situations like this where they're in abusive, hurtful, upsetting environments. You deserve to be respected in every scenario, be it corporate, be it relationship, romantic, friendship, social, spiritual circles, anywhere. Unless you do something, well, not even that, you deserve respect, period. If you unearn it, at least is the, the, the most somebody should do is walk away. But if they disrespect you in return, that can be messy. So it's kind of like treat yourself the way you would other people want other people to treat you, which is a different spin on the term, which is basically, um, was it treat others the way you want to be treated, something like that? Well, I'm talking about the other way around is treat yourself the way you would like other people to treat you. Do the work on yourself first to learn how to really be self-honoring, self-loving, self-appreciating so that when other people come up to you, you know if they're actually worth having around you because they do the same thing. When they love, honor, respect you, 
They're keepers. Keep them around. It'd be fun to do. But if you're around somebody who doesn't do that, you might want to consider whether or not you want to be with them or not. It's not your job to sacrifice yourself for somebody else. It's also not, not your job to be a martyr for somebody else. And it's certainly not your job to be a victim of somebody else. Any of those three things, it's time to walk away. I think I made my point clear enough. Um, again, I'll put the link in the comments for my Coming Home to Yourself course. And if you're in a relationship where you're stuck, um, I am agree would say that, you know, men who are in abusive lack of respect marriages, they are being abused. Yeah, so I'm, that's why I changed the title to say they versus him or she, because both men and women have gone through this on both sides of the conversation. So yeah, I know it's true. So Coming Home to Yourself is for both men and women. If you want to check it out, I'll put the link in the comments for you to take a look, a look at it. It's not. You can't sign up for it there. There's actually a link to talk to me first because I'm only taking people in who want to do the work. And it's also, this is a beta test. There's a pay what you want structure. So check out the link when I put it in the comments, you can have a look. And if you want to go deeper for the ladies in particular, I do offer a complimentary clarity conversation, my gift to you. So we can talk about some things. I'll put a link in the comments for that as well. It is true, yes, Marguerite. It is true that there are more than enough men suffering as well as women, not to excuse either one because there are just people who are predators, who are abusive, who don't know how to love because they may be, and, and this is the, this is the piece I probably should say, even though I don't want to excuse them. There are many people who are abusive in their relationships who were abused when they were in childhood. They inherited some pattern from their parents, as I mentioned before, about hereditary patterns. It doesn't excuse their behavior. It doesn't mean you can let them off the hook. It means that you just simply know they need to do some work. So they need to get help themselves. Those who are abused and the abusers need to get help. But the thing is, the abused may be more willing to get help than the abusers. My work is helping those people who have been abused, been hurt, been wounded in past relationships to really help them to restore and rebuild their own self-support so they can be in the right place to have amazing relationships. So thank you for your input, by the way, Marguerite. I appreciate that. And by the way, again, this is Facebook Live first. It goes on to YouTube later on, so I'll give you the links um, for you to find me. So. Um, if you join me live at 5 p.m. Pacific time on my personal page, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby, you can interact like this. If you want to replay, so you can find me on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author. Watch any of them there. Um, and the replays go onto my YouTube channel just for total backup and for other resource, which is Barry Selby. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And there's a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine. If you have any thoughts about this, questions, concerns, comments, etc., please put them below and I'll respond when I sign off. I'm going to put a link in the comments for both the coming home to yourself and the clarity conversation so you can check them both out and uh, I think that's about it I want to just drop this truth bomb because it's kind of those things that people forget about relationships can be amazing don't require suffering and if you're suffering maybe you want to change the choice of what you're doing reach out for help get support transform your life and get what you really want that's my message to you in a nutshell and uh, with that I think I'll sign off I appreciate you being with me as always I'm back in tomorrow, same time, same channel, 5 p.m. Pacific time. Another topic. I'll see what it's going to be. I thank you for watching. I thank you for being here. And I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye.